Mickey, David, congratulations on, on reaching the Macquarie Cup final this year. Um, Mickey, just looking back on the, the season so far, one point win in the quarter final, another one point win in the semi final. It's been the tough road that you have made the final. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose uh, we, we came on the on the wrong side of, of tight games in the past, and especially over the past couple of years. So it's great to get over the line in a semi final because I suppose this is the third semi final in a row we've reached. Um, came up short on, on both occasions, uh, and never certainly we never felt leading into our third Macquarie Cup semi-final in a row that it was going to be easy because um, we, we know that they're not easy and, and we've been in that losing dressing room a, a couple of occasions so that was <coughs> essential for us to, to try and get over the line. We knew it wasn't going to be easy but thankfully we, we, we just about scraped over the line. David, there's a great buzz about the school at the minute, you know, driving up today, the bunting, the flags out and really the, the whole school community and the wider community in Oregon are, are getting behind you ahead of the thing. Yeah, it's been fantastic now. Uh, as as Mickey said, it's uh, it was really really uh, good to get over the line uh, for this. Uh, this is the third year in a row we've been sort of knocking on the door, so it's been fantastic. We're now seeing the benefit of that uh, in terms of the effect that it's having the, the the internal school community and then outside into the local community of which I'm a part of. So I can see it, you know, on, on a daily basis. You know, walking past people in the street who have nothing but best wishes for you and and for the lads themselves. Uh, I think it's important to, to point out within that that you know we wouldn't be where we are without the support of local clubs in particular, in terms of the work that's going on uh, at underage level, uh, in, in all uh, the clubs that are feeding into it. So it's, it's really important that we uh, you know give praise to them also. Mickey, okay, well the, the buzz is great and the exposure that the school gets from being in a final, you know, can only help but raise the profile. There's a game of football on the 19th of March to be won, and you will be looking forward to that at the minute. Absolutely. Yeah. I suppose one thing we, we've impressed on the lads over the last number of days and, uh, and the last week and a half since the, the semi final is to enjoy the journey because there's nothing worse than, than leading up to a McCrory final and winning or losing it and, and looking back in years to come and, and, and thinking, you know, that was a total grind. That, that wasn't the time of my life that really I enjoyed because I was under so much pressure. So we've tried to embrace that a wee bit. Um, now, obviously, there's a very fine balance between embracing the journey and, and enjoying it and smelling the roses as you, as you go along with trying to maximise performance so ultimately that's our role um, the lads will, will certainly enjoy the journey there's no danger of that um, but it's our role to, to ensure that on the 19th of March we get the most out of them um, but we're fairly confident that we have a group of lads who are, who are grounded enough to produce on the big day Finally David this experience can only but help St Ronan's building in the future and the importance of not just sport but Gaelic games in the school is, is evident. Um, this will help lay foundations for, for years ahead. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Uh, we have some really good year groups down through the school, going right back to year 8, year 9, year 10, some great lads in, 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 in the, the senior school here in 11, 12 and 13. And it's our hope that they're looking at that and thinking, you know, listen, we A, want to do that and B, have the belief that we can go and do that and, and, and get to that stage. Uh, so yeah, it, it's fantastic. We've got a new school, uh, you know, being built uh, with new facilities, uh, and and we would like, uh, and I would be confident that in a, in a GA community like Lurgan is in the Greater Lurgan area, out to the likes of, uh, even stretching out to Portadown there, where we get pupils from to, to Craigavon, to Derry Trasna, to Derry McCash, to Hagelin. Uh, I would be hopeful that that GA community, okay, will see GA and Gaelic games. Okay, as the uh, as the settled stone of sport uh, in St. Rowan's College, ten years, twenty years down the line.